There was the block that ended the game, in essence. Luca Chalebre from TSN Bar Down joins me now to talk our way through last night's Grey Cup game. Luca, good morning. How you doing, bud? I'm doing great. How are you, George? I'm good. Not as good as the Argos. Uh, those boys must be happy, hungover, and getting ready for the big party in the square, Maple Leaf Square Thursday. Look, what a game. Let's just get that out of, out of the way from the jump. As Rod Smith beautifully put it at the end, dynasty denied for Winnipeg. How much of, the, of an underdog were the Argos going in, Luca? Really seemed like they were a huge underdog, despite obviously winning the East Division and pretty handily beating Montreal the week before. Um, and for good reason, because Winnipeg has just kind of run through everyone the past three seasons. And so the way they've looked, they've just looked like this well-oiled machine that can't be stopped. And, and um, it looked like that for portions last night as well. But it also seemed like the Argos embraced that underdog mentality all week and were kind of probably sick and tired of hearing about being <laughs> underdogs and history and everything like that. So um, those are one of those things where you use it as fuel if you're a team, and clearly they did and came out on the on the right side of it. In t terms of game breakers, you know, we talked about this during the break. When I saw that 102-yard run back, uh, you know, that, a record there, you know, there's like 12 minutes left. They're down, you know, by a f substantial score. Didn't really look good, but the Argos, man, did they just gather themselves and do the job. Yeah, and they had to do it without McLeod Bethel-Thompson for the right. touchdown drive, which was the craziest part of all of this. Chad Kelly comes in and that incredible scramble. He needed 15 yards and he gets it and completes four of six passes and then Ouellette runs it in. It's it's one of those things where like everything had to happen and go right for them. And then something still went wrong with the face mask on the sack from Robbie yes. Smith that probably should have ended the game. So um, just just really one of those things, too, with Boris Beattie missing three field goals in the game. Like, everything just seemed like it wasn't going right until it did on the block and mm -hmm. sealing the game. And A.J. Ouellette, I mean, this guy's a beast. Cut by the team. Cut by the team in July. Comes back hard. What a hero. Yeah, six carries, 24 yards, but he gets both touchdowns on the ground for the Argos. And Andrew Harris played great, had 10 carries. Um, he is just always going to be great, averaging 5.5 yards per carry and uh, just breaking more records like he always does. But Ouellette had a nose for the end zone last night and made his six carries count, to say the least. Yep. I'm giving the CFL a grade of an A this season for, you know, I mean, some franchises progressed, others stumbled, but on and off the field, I think, you know, coming post-COVID, I think it was a pretty overall great season for the league. Thank you so much, Luca. Lots more to talk about through, uh, through uh, Bar Down with all the sports throughout the rest of this season. Thanks for giving us some time today, however. Thank you for having me, George. All right, and again, the big chip rally, Maple Leaf Square, Thursday at 11 a.m. We'll be there.